following announcement has been paid for by the Jackass Nation. Here come the men in black. The following announcement has been paid for by the Jackass Nation. All right, so the men in black are back, and we're back without Will Smith. We're out Tommy Lee Jones. Is it going to work? How are we going to do? We got to find out because now we're bringing on Thor. We're bringing on Valkyrie. And it's Men in Black International. We are the Men in Black. I want in. Check, please. Now, this is a very complicated piece of machinery. Yeah, got it. Men in Black, PG-13. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, the Jersey Jackass, ETCW World Heavyweight Champion. Yo, the world, Craig. Shit, not just the city, the world. Here up on all social media at Real Jackass BC, R E L J A C K A S S B C. And don't forget to follow Cinelinks at Cinelinks on all social media sites. So I'm a huge fan of the Men in Black franchise. I thought the first one is an incredible movie. It's one of my all time favorite comedies. Uh, I even dressed as the Men in Black for Halloween one year. Now I'm dressed as them again for a review. I was not a huge fan of the second one. Um, it didn't really hit me as well as that first one did. But the third film, I absolutely loved. I thought it was incredible. Josh Brolin did a great job being a young Tommy Lee Jones. So I've been looking forward to whatever incarnation Men in Black 4 was going to be. Whether it was the 22-21 Jump Street Men in Black crossover. Or just a regular Men in Black movie, which is what we ended up getting. And I actually found this thing to be very, very enjoyable. Alright, first off, Men in Black International stars Thor, Valkyrie, and Qui-Gon Jinn. Those are some epic characters. But yeah, Chris Helmsworth, Tessa Thompson, and Liam Neeson. Also along for the trip are Camille Nujani, Ralph Spall, Emma Thompson, Rebecca Ferguson, and Laurent and Larry Burgess. So this new installment into the Men in Black follows Molly as she has found her way into the MIB and she is sent on a probationary assignment to go help the London branch find out who a mole within the Men in Black are. She teams up with Chris Hemsworth and they have to go on a mission. They've got to do some stuff. Things happen. And in normal Men in Black fashion, we got to fight some aliens. So that's the gist of it. It really is uh, right on the nose with most of the Men in Black films. Uh, it kind of fits the same kind of formula while also breaking away from that formula. And that's what I think this movie did so well is it stands on its own as its own movie. There are not a lot of callbacks to the original films. I think there's maybe like two little Easter eggs. You get a, you get a small cameo from our favorite pug and you get like a painting on the wall that kind of shows some love to the original Men in Black. But other than that, this film really does stand on its own. It's its own story. And while it feels like a Men in Black film, it feels like it's following that formula, it actually takes it and spins it off in its own little direction. And that's one of the things I really did like about it. Another thing I loved is the chemistry between Thor and Tessa Thompson. Even from Ragnarok, you know these guys have good chem chemistry together and they really work well together. I really enjoyed watching them play off of each other. And Chris Hemsworth has just such incredible comedic timing. While Tessa Thompson is just such a star talent, she's able to really work within the confines of the film and really bring out a light in everyone around her. Now, negatively, I will say that uh, it's kind of predictable. While it does branch off from the regular Men in Black formula, uh, I pretty much saw what was coming from the very beginning. It didn't really take away from my enjoyment of the film, but still at the same time, I'm like, this the whole movie, I'm sitting there going, well, this is going to happen. This is what's going on. Yep, this is, yeah, okay, I'm right. All right, cool, I'm right. Couldn't you just uh, erase my memory from a couple scenes earlier? Also, there's a little bit of the CGI issues on here. Now, some of it is really good, and then some of it you can obviously tell is a green screen. Oh my god, BC, we have to let CGI go. Come on, it's not always perfect. Bullshit, there's a movie, there's a live action Lion King coming, and I firmly believe that's live, live action. That's how good CGI can be. As well, there's no real clear cut villain. You're kind of wondering throughout, they're not really, there's no character development for a villain. Villain. Vincent D'Onofrio was so good in the original Men in Black, uh, and you really felt his his villain. You really felt that character. This one, while they have villains who you who who you're looking at, there's no character development. There's no getting to know these villains. You don't really understand anything about them until the very end. 
Also, I had uh, a couple little story issues. I don't want to get into those because they are kind of spoilery. Uh, maybe I'll talk about them on the podcast. It is what it is this week. Uh, maybe check that out. Other than that, this movie was fun. It was fresh. I really did enjoy it and have a good time watching. Um, and I will also say the music is absolutely incredible. Right off the bat with the credits, I immediately felt, yo, this is just like the original Men in Black movies. This is a perfect score. The music is already sucking me back in and bringing me into that world. And that's the strength of Danny Elfman coming back to compose this film. It really worked. It really felt just like the originals while having its own touch to it. All right, let's give Men in Black a score. We're going 2.9 out of 5. But wait, that's not all. Jeebus bonus. A point three for the chemistry between Thor and Valkyrie, giving us a Jeebus score of 3.2 out of 5. But what say you? Are you excited to see this new Men in Black International? Have you already seen it? What did you think? What is your favorite film of the original trilogy? And which Men in Black song did you like better? Men in Black or Nod Your Head? We're not going the Pitbull song. You really like the Pitbull song more than you like the Will Smith songs. Whatever you guys have to say, make sure to comment down below. Hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you can get notifications on all the videos right here. Give this one a thumbs up and share it around with your friends. And until next time. The preceding announcement has been paid for by the Jackass Nation.